Hi, my name is Kelly Bradley and welcome back to the Devoted Daughter TV. Today we're going to talk about Medicare and in-home care. Does Medicare pay for in-home care? How does that work? With some of the newer programs, especially with what's called an Advantage program, and remember that the Advantage program is Medicare Part C. So Medicare Part C replaces Medicare, Medicare Parts A and B. So Medicare Part A and B are those federally funded programs. So if you're opting for Part C, you're doing something a little bit different. And there are a lot of new programs available. It's open enrollment right now until December 7th. So if you're looking to change or investigate this, now is the time. Um, I wanna just kinda caution you and to look at the details because in-home care has been added to some of these plans, but it may be very limited. In some, it may be more robust. It's just, it differs by state, by company, and by plan. So be sure to read the fine print. If it's not covered under your plan or you're not using one of those Medicare Advantage programs, the other things to consider are, do you have a long-term care policy? Because many times long-term care will cover in-home care. And this is one of those bugaboos also. Every policy has been written differently, especially if a policy was written years ago. You need to go back, read the fine print, call the company, verify what's covered. One red flag that I've run into in my years in working in in-home care is that a lot of times there's a waiting period. So people will think, okay, well, I'm ready to use the in-home care portion of that long-term care policy, and that's great, but then you realize, oh, well, there's a 30-day waiting period. I didn't realize I was personally responsible to pay for in-home care for the first 30 days. And for every policy, that can look different. So you need to call, verify, and read the fine print. Another, a couple other ways that in-home care is covered is through Medicaid, and a veteran's benefit, which is called aid and attendance. Both of those, I'm lumping them together because they're both spend down benefits. So you really can't have a lot of cash on hand. For the most part, it's a car and a home and that's about it. So in the case of Medicaid, you need to speak with the county in which you reside. Same thing with the veterans benefits. You'll need to find a veterans officer in the county which you reside or which the person who's getting the benefits resides. And that's a great place to just start. There are lots of other resources that can help you out there, but that's what I would recommend as a first step. If you like this information and it was helpful, be sure to subscribe to our channel and sign up for our mailing list. We send you bite-sized pieces of information every week that'll help move the needle forward with you and your family.